those of you who don't know, Jake Paul and Logan Paul have been spreading their cancerous content on YouTube for the past couple of years now. They were originally from Vine, but when Vine got shut down, they had to find a different type of way to spread their content. YouTube, of course! For those of you who don't know what's going on, Logan Paul and his crew went to Japan and went to the Japanese suicide forest, claiming he was going there to feel the horror and the hauntedness, because apparently it's haunted. Every year, a lot of people head into this forest and commit suicide, hence the name, the Suicide Forest. And when Logan Paul went into the forest, they discovered someone that had just committed suicide by hanging that very morning. What he then proceeded to do was ridiculous. Logan Paul has like 15 million subscribers and most people are underage that watch his channel. So it was kind of funny to me when he said this. Kids running around. What if one of the kids stumbled upon this guy? But then proceeds to show footage of the guy that had just committed suicide. Why I wanted to talk about this, right? And I know I'm a small YouTuber. I have like very little to no significance, but I like to talk about it because, because here's the thing with YouTube and mostly other things in life. Like you find something that you can upload and you go, hey, this is gonna make me views. This is going to go crazy. But usually what I found, at least with content that I wanted to put up, there's some kind of social or moral issue with putting that video up and you think about this stuff and you don't put it up because of that issue. So I'm not saying I agree with this douchebag, but I can kind of understand when he saw that he would have gone, oh my God, I'm going to get views. But obviously there's many, many reasons why you wouldn't stream someone that had just killed themselves and especially showing it to all your fans and the family that of the guy that just committed suicide who probably are in mourning and saw this video of someone, some random random, st just stupid person who puts up footage of them. Depression is a very serious thing and for someone who has had suicidal thoughts at one stage in their life, it is not a nice thing to go through and anyone who hasn't experienced that, you won't really you know, understand why it's so hard. Some people say, oh, you have depression, just be happy, it'll all be okay. Honestly, check out a brain scan of someone who has depression. It is, honestly, it is, it is not just something you can just get over just like that. What honestly bothered me most about this video is that Logan Paul tried to play it off like it was raising awareness for suicide. Even though he says this. What, you never, you never stand next to a dead guy? No. <laughs> Which is making fun of a victim. If you really wanted to raise awareness of depression and suicide, you would have put the goddamn camera down and spoken about it later. And on Twitter, he said he didn't do it for views. He gets views. But here's the thing, when you're a YouTuber, you have your time and eventually your time is going to run out. Same as like if you somehow got your 15 minutes of fame, sometimes if you're a celebrity. And as a YouTuber, you're always looking for a way to up the last content that you've produced. And by doing this, you can stay relevant. But with everything aside, if you are struggling with something in your life, if you're struggling with depression, if you're struggling with suicidal thoughts, there is always someone you can talk to. You don't have to go to a therapist, a psychologist, a psychiatrist. Why not even just talk to your friend? As long as you can get out what you're, what you're stressing about, what is really worrying you, talk to a friend, you won't, you won't believe how much it helps. People think about suicide and think it's the coward's way out, it's the easy way out. It's most definitely not. But in saying that, suicide is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. Alright, that is the last time I'll be speaking about this douchebag on this channel. Okay, bye.